Oh, this is absolutely phenomenal. It's a brand new state-of-the-art simulation center. And um, where some medical schools across the country do have this technology, um, to my knowledge, it's not really being utilized in first-year medical students. Typically, when they're in their third year, their clinical th um, year of medical school, um, it's used for procedural-based training and this and that. But um, this is absolutely a cutting-edge opportunity for our students. And, and my belief is that they're going to be much more prepared when they see their first patient. This is a great opportunity for the students. They've been in, this is their fourth week of CPR, cardiovascular pulmonary renal, and they've been in sitting in classes for three weeks now, learning about EKGs, heart sounds, chest x-rays, echocardiograms, assessing the patient's blood pressures, a great deal of, of physiology and some clinical application, but this is a wonderful opportunity for them to come and apply what they have been learning. But this is the first time, I think, for hands-on, and even though it's simulated, it becomes very real when you're there at the bedside trying to get a blood pressure, figure out what medication to give. And yes, this is their first opportunity to have a simulation experience, so it's a, it's a, a lot of fun for them, I think, to do something out of the classroom. I can stand there in front of them in lecture for hours and hours and hours, but there's nothing as good as having the hands-on. And they have a wonderful facilitator to, to guide them. They had a facilitator who played the role of the attending physician. There was a chief resident, an intern, uh, which is a first-year resident, a third-year medical student, a first-year medical student, and then interprofessional team members. So a nurse was present, a pharmacist, a radiology tech, echo tech, um, respiratory tech. And um, so what that did is it brought all of the, this inter interprofessional expertise to the table, but it was also the first time that the students have had the opportunity to work together as a team and to realize that other people bring certain expertise to the table and everybody's there centered around patient care. At least they got a chance to see in real time what was going on and they could get a feel for what, what the patient did, what they needed to do to react to treat it, and just kind of work with it in a real life situation. I think it's fabulous. To be honest, this is the kind of things I was doing in my residency in emergency medicine, was getting a chance to sit with a patient or be at the bedside with a patient that was rapidly deteriorating and get that chance, that feel of how do you make those decisions in, in, in real time and do it fast. And the way I feel and the way a lot of our faculty come in is that we wish we had this when we went through school. Uh, just the, the changing the physio physiology of the mannequin to where I can change the blood pressure, it can talk back and forth. So then they're working on communications, um, they take real blood pressures, they do a lot of the invasive procedures that they'll have to do, and get the biofeedback that you would see a patient really give you. That's immeasurable. But when I push a drug and I expect the pulse to go up, it really does. It was. The mannequin was very realistic in a, in, in a lot of things. So we could listen to breath sounds and listen to uh, heartbeats and, and so forth. Uh, but then, uh, in other ways, it was a little, uh, little, diff little different than I expected. I didn't expect them to be able to uh, uh, simulate something like edema in the legs, and, and yet there it was. So that was a little bit surprising. Um, certainly, we talk about things like um, giving epi and, and putting, intubating a patient, and we got the, sin the scenario where we were doing that, and watching a classmate put an airway in was very impressive, and to have had gotten the opportunity to practice with the simulated patient and now to think, man, I, I really want to go back up into that sim lab this week and go practice my intubation and have that muscle memory. Um, I think that um, that's such a uh, neat thing to be able to do, so unique, and uh, hopefully we'll just continue to get better. Yes, and I certainly won't forget some of the things I learned, and it's much more different than a PowerPoint or a textbook or um, any other experience you can possibly have.